Hi guys, so today is day 5 of my trip. So I am not sure I should be posting this video or not. But my car uh, got into some trouble on the road from uh, Jammu to Srinagar. So I am somewhere midway. I am at a small town called as Banihal. Uh, with the help of some helpful army people, I was able to tow the car about 10-15 kilometers till here to see if a mechanic can fix it. But the radiator has cracked and only the Volkswagen service center can fix it. So they tried the whole day yesterday in fact, but it didn't work. And I stayed in a very basic accommodation for the night. And I've called the RSA. They will be here late in the evening. It takes time to get here. So maybe five or six in the evening. So I have some time to spend. It's only 10 in the morning. So I did some bit of Googling and I found this uh, lovely GKTDC resort here, Hotel Alpine. And uh, I was able to freshen up here. So I'm just trying to make the best of this situation at this point of time. So guys, you saw what kind of basic accommodation I had for the night. Yeah, in fact, yeah, I didn't really sleep very well. Uh, the accommodation itself was for 200 rupees per night. It was in a uh, common hall where there were a total 5 beds. There were already 2 more people who were already sleeping over there. And they were covered head to toe and talking loudly in Punjabi. There was a light on f all through the night and I didn't really get any sleep. The pillow was damp so I didn't use it. I used my uh, backpack as a pillow. And uh, they had thick blankets though I don't know when was the last time uh, it was washed. But I had to make the best of the situation and anyways I had time to kill so, uh, till the morning. So I tried to sleep as best as I could. Uh, every uh, two hours or three hours I was waking up and this continued till six in the morning when I finally thought now it's time to start getting back into action. Anyways, I hadn't had any water or any food throughout the night and I thought I'll just walk all the way over to the car. It's about, about two kilometers or so, about 20 minutes away from where I was staying for the night. So I uh, walked all the way to the car, uh, I was very happy to see that my car was safe and untouched. So I finally had some water, I had a breakfast bar and I settled down in the car just in this way in the back seat and finally it was around 7 am so I thought uh, now I should start taking charge. So I dialed the number for the Volkswagen RSA and the lady who answered the call was very helpful. She helped me to set up the uh, towing service with a local vendor. However, there was a catch. She told me that uh, the tow truck would not start from Udhampur till before 1 p.m. And because of all the traffic, it would be at least 5 to 6 uh, in the evening before the tow truck could actually come uh, to tow my vehicle. Uh, now that was going to be a long time. It was only 7 in the morning, right? So I uh, challenged her actually. I asked her why such a long time. And she was not really able to give me a good answer. But I asked her to share the number of the vendor with me directly so I could talk to them, which she did. Another thing is she confirmed that there is no uh, uh, service center for Volkswagen in Srinagar. There is only one in Jammu. Only one for the entire of JNK and Ladakh. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I knew that was the case, but uh, when it hit me like, in this way where my car was broken down, I really felt the gravity of the situation. So I had thought in my mind that you know if my car gets towed to Srinagar, then I would continue my journey. If it gets towed to Jammu, then I would start uh, my return journey back to Pune. So in this case, uh, she confirmed that uh, the service center was at Jammu. So I thought, okay, so let's start the journey back. However, she was not able to give me the uh, location of the service center, only the name of the facility. 
I had my doubts about it. Uh, it's a new place. I don't really know, right? So, anyways, I asked her for the number, and uh, she was not able to provide me with the number for the service station. So, uh, she said that she will get back to me. So, in the meantime, I called the uh, tow truck vendor, and I asked him the reason why the tow truck could not start before one p.m. And he clarified. that uh, he has only two tow trucks which are uh, having the facility to tow a car like the Volkswagen with which uh, the co- they have the contract uh, with Volkswagen and uh, only he has only one of them available right now and the driver of the tow truck had been driving the whole night and he needed some rest before he can start again so i understood uh, what the situation was so i agreed to what you are saying and i asked him to call me when the tow truck actually started and also to share the number of the uh, driver who would actually be driving the truck so he said that he will share that with me so now i had some time in hand i knew i was going to be a guest in this place for more time than i intended so i thought i'll try to make the best of my situation as possible in the meantime the local who had uh, helped me to find accommodation at the night was back with his car uh when i uh, told him the story of the rsa and my situation and how i would be a, his guest basically <laughs> for the rest of the day uh he took me for breakfast uh, we had tea and we had local uh, girda bread which is basically a kashmiri flat bread i had no idea about it before this trip and if i wasn't stuck in this kind of situation i probably never would have had this uh, bread it was really good guys and if you do get a chance i i would recommend uh, to just try it uh, you know it's something new for you guys to try so after breakfast i got back to the car and this is when i thought that i'll uh, start doing some research around this area i mean guys i was uh, in this situation since uh, the day before since 1 pm 1:30 pm when my car actually broke down i was tired i d- hadn't really had a good sleep my clothes were dirty i uh, needed a better facility So after searching on Google I found a nearby JKTDC resort and I remembered seeing it on the way when I was walking back but I didn't realize at the time that it was a JKTDC so I thought I'll just walk over and ask them if they have a uh, accommodation available Now luckily for me they had one room available uh, I think it was for 1700 uh, per night or something like that Unfortunately for me I could not just use it for the day I would have to book for the entire uh, uh, night as well But like I said you know in this situation I-, I thought rather than spending the entire day at a garage outside at least uh, you know I would check in to a decent place and uh, I would freshen up <sighs> And I can tell you guys you know when you have a bath and you freshen up Uh, it brings about a miraculous change in your entire disposition immediately you start feeling a lot fresher you start feeling a lot better you start thinking straight and uh, that really helped so with that out of the way i uh, after freshening up i uh, again went out to the garage to take a look at the car by this time the mechanic was back i requested him to fix the bumper which was still not in place and fix up the car because the tow truck would be coming at some point of time and uh, naturally he was reluctant because he knew he would not be getting anything out of it and i knew that until you know the tow truck actually started from udhampur there's no point in pushing this guy i mean i don't even know if the truck is actually going to come or not so i let that be i went uh, to a local place to have some breakfast i had a nice aloo paratha and then i thought that you know let's uh, go back to the room and spend the time there uh, 
waiting for the next uh, uh, whatever will be the next step so in the meantime you know i was not very convinced uh, with whatever the Volkswagen RSA had told me about the Jammu service center i thought let me confirm the facts you know in a new place it's always good to have all the information as far as possible now the funny thing is the Volkswagen uh, website lists the number for the Jammu service center but when you call that it goes to Skoda and Skoda is right next to Volkswagen it's in the same building and they claimed when I called them that they do not have the contact for the Jammu service center they don't have any contacts and that was not very helpful really anyways I didn't have much of a choice so I did some more research on Google I found the website of the local vendor which was Velocity Jammu and on their website the number of the front desk was there uh, when I called the number the lady was very helpful over there she got me in contact with their uh, main engineer who takes care of the service center uh, basically their uh, technical service center manager so I gave him all the details I confirmed with him that they have received my case from Volkswagen and that my car would be towed uh, over Okay, and uh, I asked them to confirm whether they have the parts in stock for the car or not. One thing is for sure, when you take a car to a service center or authorized service center, they are going to start uh, repairing stuff. They are going to replace what they can replace. In a way, it's good because when you replace a part with a brand new part, uh, it comes with a warranty and there is a guarantee that it's going to work. Uh, you know, it's going to work long time and so i didn't really have a problem with that i was more than 2000 kilometers away from home i had to drive all the way back and i needed a reliable car so while i was talking to him i also confirmed the location of the service center i asked him to send me the address so that uh, you know i didn't want to assume anything jammu was like uh, almost uh, 130 140 kilometers away from where i was if the tow truck did arrive by 5 or 6 p.m., uh, by the time uh, they, they would tow me back, it would be more, you know, it would be over midnight. Nobody was going to be there at that point of time. And I wanted, I didn't want to uh, get my car towed to some uh, incorrect location. I wanted to tow it right in front of their gate. So I confirmed that. I even confirmed the same location on Google Maps and. Uh, uh, so all that was done and then I just had to wait till the tow truck arrived so coming to 2 p.m. around 2 p.m. I called the uh, tow truck vendor again and I asked him whether the truck has left or not and uh, he shared the driver number with me and assured me that uh, the driver would call me back the driver didn't call so I called uh, since I had the number Really? and I realized finally at 2.30 is when the tow truck actually left and so I basically told the driver to give me a call when they are closer to Banyal. I gave them the location where the car was. Uh, it was lucky for me because the car was just as you enter the village so I was able to tell the driver uh, that and uh, i also didn't know that it was going to be much later than 5 or 6 pm uh, till the tow truck actually arrived when it arrived is when i realized the reason why it was not some mini truck or a tempo it was a full fledged tow truck with a flat bed where the car can be loaded and uh, it's a big truck guys and it takes time the average speed for this truck uh, even if it is not uh, laden, it would cross uh, say 30 or 35 kilometers per hour. So finally when the tow truck arrived at around 9 or 9.30 pm is when I realized that yeah, it's going to be a while before I get back. So once the tow truck arrived, I asked the driver whether he had had any food. I was sure that he hadn't, the way these guys work. 
and i thought that i'll offer him i said you know let's have some dinner and then we'll set out it's a long drive back to jammu and he was very happy about that he agreed and we had dinner and so we started our journey back at around 10 o'clock ish yeah around 10 o'clock so that's how i was traveling uh, through the uh, banihal to jammu all through the highway that you've seen so far uh, post midnight the journey with the tow truck was uh, quite tiring quite stressful as well there were many times throughout the night drive where we were stuck in traffic just in the same fashion as i was stuck while i was traveling in this direction in the morning and in fact a couple of times the driver even fell asleep when we were uh, waiting for the traffic and that was risky <laughs> but somehow i was able to keep an eye on him and make sure that he is not falling asleep <laughs> and uh, finally guys at around 7 in the morning uh, is when we actually reached in front of the gate of uh, folkswagen and that is uh, where i just uh, uh, un- unloaded the car from the tow truck uh, in just across the road in front of their gate and in at 7 in the morning uh, nobody is going to be there uh, folks so even people will not come before 8:30 so i already had a uh, booking in uh, jammu at a hotel so i asked the tow truck driver only to drop me back uh, on the way back and the hotel was about 5 kilometers away from the service station so we went across uh, and i thought i'll check in i'll uh, just uh, rest for a while before i come back to the service station 